SOLIDWORKS 2014 provides a far more streamlined process when integrating SOLIDWORKS geometry into circuit works. We're now prompted with an export wizard which is a very simple step-by-step -step process where we just click through selections to define what we want to do for setting up our board along with any holes or keep out areas and with just a few clicks we can quickly generate our model inside circuit works. Now CircuitWorks itself has a lot of enhancements to the interface. For example, we can look at the properties window and we can do multiple selects now in the tree. And we now have options to filter out items, disassociate those from the model with a right click, zoom to fit and so on. So there's a lot of convenience there within the interface. The middle mouse button now allows us to zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, pan and rotate or double click to fit the view. Similarly in the library we now have a consistent look and feel and they've added a wizard to the library so if you want to add components it'll take you through a step-by-step -step process to pick the files and then add them to the system. So again trying to streamline the process and make it a lot easier to work with and it's going to mean that you can get your job done in a lot shorter time frame. Now something else they've added to CircuitWorks in 2014 is additional thermal properties. We can see over here we now have material density, specific heat, conductivity, heat generation rate and resistivity. This is very valuable because this can come from IDF files with the components, so in your electrical designs, into CircuitWorks and then these are also supported in SolidWorks flow simulation. So not only do we have that extra information in CircuitWorks, we can take advantage of it directly in our analysis. The benefit of that is going to be automating the process of entering the data so that we don't have to manually type it in again. So in SOLIDWORKS flow simulation we can scan all of the geometry in the model in our model and then it will automatically identify additional materials or any thermal properties. So we see our thermal properties as well as our heat input for all the items. So as you can imagine that's a great time saver for speeding up the process of setting up our model and it avoids the potential for introducing errors through uh, entering the wrong values. And we can see here there's quite a substantial number of heat sources uh, generated as well as material properties. And again it's going to streamline everything we need to do for verifying the heating and cooling of our designs. Something else that we've added in SOLIDWORKS flow simulation for 2014 is when exporting to eDrawings so you can share your results for other people to look at, we now support multiple result types in eDrawings. So we can come and look at our model and see all the different result types uh, which makes it very easy to compare a lot of different uh, properties. And we can even toggle those on and off whether we don't want to see our section plot or our flow results. So again, great improvements there in SOLIDWORKS integration with analysis as well as electrical design.